three, two, one. You're on Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. And if it is your first time here, make sure you, you subscribe. Here we got some breaking news right now. Interesting breaking news. Do you love the Rolling Stones as much as I do? Oh, I bet you do because I know I do. Are their children loving the Rolling Stones as much as they're supposed to do, huh? Well, Mick Jagger says his family doesn't need $500 million. He might want to just give it all to charity instead. What are your thoughts about this, huh? What a drag it is getting old. It's all coming up right now. If it is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. I am Artist on Record. You are beautiful. My name's Atika. Don't touch that dial. It all starts now. Let's chat about it. <laughs> All right, everybody, this is Artist on Record, and uh, you know what? This is breaking news in Rolling Stone history right now. Mick Jagger says his family does not need $500 million. He'd rather give it to charity instead. What do you think about this? This just hit the news. It's been on the news all day. But if you haven't read the news, I'm here to tell you the news over here. And uh, if you're in the chat, make sure you talk to me. If you're a member, I see you. You're rocking your badges. If not... You know what? It's all okay. But anyway, it's only rock and roll, and we like it. Well, Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger, 80-year-old Sir Mick Jagger, revealed the prospect before next month's release of the Stones' new uh, Hackney Diamonds. Uh, I know you know about that coming out. Uh, it's all been all over the news. They're promoting it, the Rolling Stones. There they are, looking dapper as usual. Keith Richards, Mick Jagger, and Mr. Ronnie Wood, huh? They are still the coolest band in town. But right now, uh, Jagger's uh, saying something over here. He spoke, he was, I guess he was speaking to Wall Street Journal about this. And uh, also, um, Hackney Diamonds, just to go back a little bit, this is the band's first album of original material in nearly two decades. So if you're not familiar with that, well, make sure you check it out. I'll put links where you can check out Hackney Diamonds and all that. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about the Stones, Mick Jagger. So what's going on? Huh? What's Mick doing? Huh? Are the kids upset? Are they sad right now? What is, what's going on here? Uh, Mick Jagger has suggested, uh, uh, and he revealed that the children don't need 500 million to live well. Come on. He then suggested that the rights to the songs could go to charity, saying you maybe do some good in the world. Huh? How about those kids? You think they're doing some good, huh? Do they look happy? He has a lot of kids. He is Mick Jagger. Are they happy about that? If you were Jagger's kids and you knew that dad was giving away 500 million right there to charity and not to you, what would you think about this, huh? Would you upset the family? I mean, there's a lot of people to be upset. I mean, we are getting close to the holidays. It is September, right? Hackney Diamonds, the, the record, it's supposed to come out October. But what about Thanksgiving? Are they going to be happy at Thanksgiving? Are people going to be going crazy? Will people show up at dinner? Or will everybody be nicer at Thanksgiving knowing that dad might be giving away $500 million? Who's in the chat over here? Let us let me see. Debbie Muller, Steve, good to see you people over there. God bless you guys. That's right. Debbie says, what is he giving? What is he giving away? Debbie, 500 million. That's right. That's right. I'm on fire today. That's right. That's right. Uh, Steve, good day. That's right. Steve says, I could use a few million. How about you, Debbie? Could help a little bit. We'll keep the cable bill on, right? My wife cut my cable bill. I can't watch power. I'm upset. Mick, adopt me. I have a hat like you did in the 70s. Well, anyway, this is what's going on right now. And I have some pictures to match the story. Really quick, you know Mick Jagger over here. He's a rock and roller. He's allowed to have a lot of kids. Jagger, who is the father to eight children, ranging in age, ages from six years old. That's right. Uh, he might even have younger, I think, at this point, to 52, insisted there was no plans to sell the songbook. All righty? And you can see in this picture, maybe the wife looks upset right there or the girlfriend because look at him. He looks like he's a little frazzled Jagger right there, right? Because he just word on the street, you giving it away? You know, this wife is pissed off. What am I getting then, huh? If you're not going to give it to your kids, I'm not getting nothing. They're not applauding. That's what they're saying over there. But anyway, uh, right here is Jagger with his little baby. And you can see that cute little kid over there. Jagger, like I said, he's a father. Eight children, big variety of ages from 
six years old to 52. Woo, 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 right. Well, anyway, Keith Richards, the band's guitarist, previously addressed the idea of selling the rights in an interview with CBS News uh, Sunday morning in March last year. Uh, he mentioned it as well. But I don't know if we're ready to sell our catalog, Mick Jagger said. We might drag it out a bit, put some more stuff in it. Yeah, you know what? I think you could add a little more stuff in it. You know, look at you guys. You guys are still rocking and rolling at 80. Uh, the trio confirmed in a press conference this month uh, that they had been working on a tight schedule to record their 12-track album, which is due to be released October 20th. And um, I know you guys are all going to be wanting to check this out. It is the band's first album of new songs since 2005's A Bigger Bang. Um, and um, actually sounds pretty good. Pretty good. The Rolling Stones' earliest work is owned by another label called Apco Records right here. I'll put that there. The early years. That's the really actually great years of the Stones' music. The band, uh, did uh, they faced some serious financial difficulty after a court battle for ownership of their music made before 1971. One of the things I'm really proud of with the Stones is that we pioneered arena tours with their own stage, with their own sound, and everything we also did the same with stadiums, Jagger said, adding, I mean, nobody did a tour of the stadiums. The Stones paved the way for artists in every just, John, you know, generation, they, John, everything commercialized their music. They're just lavish tours, their branding, their merchandise, sponsorships. However, the singer admitted that he did not actually like the business side of the band's affairs, saying some people just love it. I just have to do it because if you don't do it, you get oh, where's my mouse to get rid of this picture you get i can't say that word that's right you gotta be very careful in the music business you don't want to get you right <laughs> right anyway i am steph and what do you think about this the stones mick jagger everybody's selling the catalogs they're getting older what's the money gonna do somebody else is gonna cash in on it and i believe if they sell it I think in a certain time, I could be wrong. I'm not an attorney, but I think in a certain amount of years, I think the kids can try to buy it back and then they could make some their money back, if I'm not mistaken. But if you know the answer, do me a favor, put your comments down below. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. I don't know all the details. Rock and roll is supposed to be three chords and just all cool, but no, it's a business. And the Rolling Stones, well, they know how to capture it. You see it over my head. That's right pay to go see that tour i got free tickets from eric singer that's right t-mobile was really but i did pay for the poster so i guess i paid for something nothing's free you can't always get what you want but in the words of jagger what a drag it is getting old right here right here where's that music you get time. that's right everybody well i am stefan adika anyway uh i see your comments down below debbie what do you have to say over here well with the 500 men, they could, poor kids. Well, you know what? Things will work out for them. We should have their problems. Anyway, I am Stefan. This is Artist on Record. This is a small chat of me chatting with you. Thank you for being here. I got to edit some stuff because I had some exclusive interviews. Some people betrayed me, and I need to get it out so other people don't capture on the breaking news of rock and roll that I'm bringing to you. But if you're a Patreon, check that out. If you want to be a member here and chat with me, do so. That's $9.99. Two coffees. That's it. At Starbucks, that costs you two coffees. You get me for a whole month of this and a lot of nonsense. Also, everybody, check out the Parisi's coffee. That's my friend. He gives me nothing. But you know what? It's pretty good. Wheels. That's right. Check that out. Parisi's coffee, cannoli cream. And if you don't like it, it smells damn good. Anyway, I'm Stefan. You guys are all beautiful. And the Stones, Mick, it's okay. Do what you want to do. It's your money. You earned it. And kids, cheer up. It'll be okay. Don't you worry. We love you. That's right. They're going crazy at the Jagger household today. You know there's problems. Dad, I can't believe you. I know me. I'd be really upset about it. But I, I'm Jewish. I always look to complain about something. Until then, everybody, remember, it's only rock and roll, and we like it. And who loves you, baby? We do. Make sure you subscribe. Until then, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. And as always, click on a box that's going to pop up somewhere over here. You just might like it. Helps, uh,